In recent tutorials, I've shown you how to enter text, how to display text at runtime in the Blender game engine. Now I'm going to put it all together to create an input process output application. And let's see if it works. So I'm going to enter a distance in miles, press enter, and I get the equivalent distance in kilometers. I'm going to open the file that was created in the tutorial on displaying dynamic text. If I start this and press W, I get Hello World Escape. Now this is the active component. It's a mesh plane and it's UV mapped to a bitmap file of a font. These are its logic bricks. If you press W, um, you get Hello World displayed. Now, I don't want to display Hello World, so I'm going to get rid of that logic brick. Um, I don't want W pressed, I want all keys, when any key is pressed, and I want to link that to a Python controller. Uh, the script for the Python controller, if I go into the text editor and click, click the plus to create a new script, and call that text.py and link the controller to that text uh, to that script and link that up when any key is pressed that script will process the key press I need to open the file which has got the script in that will process the input from the keyboard so I need to save this I'm going to save it as miles tut1. Then I can open the file with the script in. I can copy the text and then go back to the file we're working on and paste that in. Now, uh, when I developed this, I was working with a property. Um, it must be called text so I have to change all these to make sure they say just text uh, this hasn't been linked up to the script and we need to, that had an initial value of Barney, we don't want that. So let's run that and type and everything works. Now I'm going to set up the layout for our little application. I'm going to add some text. G to grab. If I go into edit mode, I'll change that to say uh, enter distance in miles, back into object mode and S to scale, just make that a bit bigger. I'm going to put uh, bevel and extrude on. Uh, extrude 0.1 and bevel 0.1 and I'm going to add some color new material matte blue and in the diffuse pick a nice blue color I'm going to duplicate that shift and D and into edit mode and distance in kilometer back into object mode uh, now this is two planes group together. Uh, I'm going to copy 
Shift and D, duplicate. Now that new plane is still parented to the background plane. Uh, the duplicate has got the name mesh display text 2 I'm going to call it for want of a better name. I'm going to duplicate the background shift and D um, now that is called mesh display and I'll change that to mesh display 2 and when I move that I want this plane to be the child so we need to change the parent there to mesh display 2 that has inherited the uh, displacement but if I just grab that and bring it back up if I move this G to grab they move together now parent and child and there's my layout Before I run the application to see what we've got so far, I just want to go over the script uh, that processes the input from the keyboard. These lines here process uh, any letter from the keyboard. These lines process press of the space key, press of the backspace delete, and these lines process uh, a key press on the numpad. There's no code there that will process um, pressing the numbers from the main keyboard so you have to press uh, the numbers on the numpad let's start the application uh, now if I type in any number on the number pad uh, it's input into the first text box I haven't set up the process and display the output in the second text box uh, we'll do that in the second tutorial as well as fixing the problem with the uh, text not rendering in the Blender game engine. Uh, that will all be in part two of the tutorial.